Gales. Yeah. The experience yeah. continues. Mrs. Samhan, you can purchase your ticket to Houston if you've not already done so. Best win ever. That's how Omar Samhan described St. Mary's win over Villanova in the second round of the 2010 NCAA tournament back then. And now Omar joins us. Welcome, Omar. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Good. So let's flash back uh, 10 years ago now to uh, the NCAA tournament. You guys come in as a 10 seed and you knock off second seed Villanova in the second round. And again, like I just mentioned, you called it the best win ever, number one. Is that still the same feeling right now? Uh, yeah, it is the same feeling. I wish it wasn't. <laughs> it still is the best win ever in St. Mary's history. It was at the time and 10 years later, it still is. So I'm hoping that uh, there's a new best win ever in the 2021 season um, or 2020 season, whatever, whenever we get a college basketball back. But uh, so far it's been unbelievably by far the best one uh, Gales have ever had and probably in my personal life I've ever had. Really close game. You guys were, were leading early on and then Villanova kind of came back. So it was tied with about 115 left in the game. Mickey McConnell banks in a three-pointer to give you guys a three-point lead. Um, what, what was your reaction when, when that happened? It was like one of those classic backyard games where like a guy shoots and everybody on the court's like, no! And then it goes in and you're like, yeah! <laughs> it was 100%. There, there was tons of time on the clock. He didn't need to shoot it. He was feeling it. I hadn't gotten a touch in a while. I thought I'd, I should get a touch on this play. And I'm running up to on ball him and he just stops on a dot and lets yeah. it fly. And I, everybody's like, what is he doing? And it, it banks in and it was one of those deals. He was just feeling it, so yeah. he let it fly. And when that goes in, there's zero chance in my mind. Like the game's not over, there's still a minute left. There's only a one, two point game, but I knew it was over. We're hitting, Delhi fell down earlier, got up, made a shot. Nikki's hitting this kiss off the glass. So I knew we were in a good situation. So now under a minute left, I think it was 48 seconds left. You have a two handed stuff of Reggie Redding, of Villanova, and then um, Mickey then made a one and one, and that kind of iced the game from there. Um, do you remember that, that, that block? And can you kind of walk us through that? Uh, super well. So uh, we needed a stop. RB told us we had to get a stop. Don't foul. So that's why I went with two hands. I thought I could have blocked it with one, but I didn't want to leave my feet or anything. So it actually is an ugly block. If you showed him this, it doesn't look great. But uh, I could have blocked it hard. I could have had a better block. It was just I didn't want to foul. We didn't want to risk anything. So it was great talk by Coach B to kind of make us aware of that. So St. Mary's makes the Sweet 16 um, for, for the first time after that win. After the game, your, your coach Randy Bennett said that no one on the team really expected to get to that point. And he said, even if you ask the players and they say yes, they're lying. Is that true? Did you guys really not expect to get that far? Or? I mean, I thought we were going to win the national championship. I'm still mad we didn't win the national championship that year. I want to play Baylor again. But uh, we didn't see it like that. We didn't start the tournament and say, hey, we're going to go to the Elite Eight or whatever. We're going to go Sweet 16. It was none of that. It was, these guys don't respect us. Let's go make them respect us. And if we win at the end of the game, we win. If we don't, they're going to know they were in a fight. And we did that against Richmond. And then, OK, let's try again against Nova. And we kept trying. It ended up not working against Baylor. But we gave them a shot. You know, we, we went at them. We, we played hard. So I don't think that team had much expectations because of the fact that we weren't top 25. We didn't even have expectations. We just wanted to, to hit somebody. <laughs> we just wanted them to know where the Gales were, know where Moraga was. So uh, I think that really helped us. Because we didn't go in like, we have to win tonight. Like, hey, let's. I remember before the Villanova game, guys were laughing in the locker room, we're listening to music. And uh, Kyle Smith, who's now the head coach at Washington State, is like, hey, Omar, because I'm team captain, me and Mickey. Hey, you guys got to get this thing under control. Dudes are running wild in here. You're not focused. And I, I turned on, like, not now, Chief. We're in the zone. And everybody starts laughing. And that was like the, the experience before the game. Nobody was nervous. And he's like, we're not supposed to be here, so we have nothing to lose. And when we were walking out, I remember seeing Scotty Reynolds He's in the corner saying his little prayers and looks nervous as heck. And all of his guys, they have to win. It's Villanova. You're supposed to beat St. Mary's second round. But we have nothing to lose. So having that, you know, gunslayer attitude and Mickey shooting bank shots and Delhi falling down and shooting them, it, it totally fit our character. And uh, we were just a fun-loving team. And it, it showed on the court and uh, ended up doing some damage.